Well, I think as a child, I saw Yiddish as, you know, mainly my grandparents' language. Um, and I think like a lot of people, I found it both interesting and a little embarrassing. You know, there was that kind of, I think a lot of people still have this sense of Yiddish as um, something that belongs in jokes or is to be joked about or something like that. I wanted to to understand it and learn it. Um, there wasn't any place to do that in school, um, and then I, you know, probably kind of forgot about it. I mean, I uh, didn't. You know, it's been many years since my grandparents were around, and you know, I've heard little bits. And although I, it's interesting, though, I, I know that um, particularly in my chavara, we um, we do a lot of singing in English and Hebrew. And there are some songs um, that have also been available in Yiddish, or there were a few songs, I can't think of what it is now, but there's one Hanuk Hanukkah song that I knew in Yiddish and everybody else knew it in Hebrew and you know that kind of thing. Um, and so I would often be the one, or there was one other person in the group for a while who, who really would bring in some Yiddish, you know. And um, when the first time that I came to visit here at the book center, just got to be, I don't know, 10 years ago or, or more after, you know, after this new building had opened um, a couple of years later, I finally got here. And um, I was very, very moved by it. Um, the, the sense of, you know, not just the language, but the culture, the people, the sense that, um, that this was, you know, a place that represents a real culture, uh, just in the way, you know, I've been to museums of, you know, the Museum of the American Indian in Arizona, and, you know, things like that. It just felt like, yeah, you know, we have a real history and a real set of artifacts and arts and all of that. Um, there was something just very profound about that experience. And the linotype machine, um, the Yiddish linotype from the uh, Forverts was then displayed uh, in one of the upstairs exhibit halls. And uh, that really brought me to tears, somehow looking at that machine and the explanation of, you know, why it was here. Um, something, you know, I used to see my grandparents read Yiddish newspapers. I don't know if they read the Forverts, actually. I don't think so, but um, but I always saw those newspapers in their in their house, and they, so there was just some connection, you know, to the to the print.